So my wife and I recently took a trip to Europe and going over, we flew through Istanbul on Turkish business class. It was an awesome experience and we booked it with only 45,000 Turkish points that we transferred over from Capital One. Now that has since been devalued and I don't think you can get it for that price anymore. But certainly it was an experience. We did a little review. We took some video of the food and of the service and of the seat and the lounge and all sorts of things related to it. So I'm going to walk you through what we did and, and hopefully it'll help you as you're evaluating whether Turkish business class is something that'll be worth it for you. So we started off in the lounge at JFK and it certainly wasn't much to write home about. Uh, it's small. It really doesn't do justice to what you think of when it comes to a business class lounge. In fact, in the middle of our trip in Istanbul, we got to go into the Turkish lounge, business class lounge in Istanbul, which people have said it's one of the best lounges in the world. And it certainly is impressive. And if it's not the biggest lounge in the world, it's got to be up there in the top five or 10. It's just gigantic. But as we got to JFK, of course, proceeded to check in. It was super simple. You do have to go to the counter if you're going to check into Turkish business class out of the United States. Couldn't get the app to work to get mobile boarding passes. So went to the counter. It was super easy. Proceeded through security, made our way to the lounge. It was really early in the morning. They had a kind of a decent spread of, of breakfast foods, but as I said, it, it really wasn't anything overly impressive. Hey, everybody. Just enjoying a little bit of time before our flight on Turkish Air. And great coffee in the lounge here. The boarding process went pretty well. They don't have quite as defined of a system as like American, United, and Delta do. And so everybody was kind of just kind of milling around, especially those people that were in economy class on the opposite side of where we were standing. But then they called us. I think we were the maybe the first or second couple to board the plane. We got into our seats. We were in row two. And so we were the second set of seats on the left-hand side of the plane looking towards the front. And man, the seats on Turkish business class are absolutely gigantic. I'm well over six feet tall, close to six, three. And when I stretched out my legs, I could barely touch the leg rest in the front. It's not the most luxurious business class we've ever been on, but it is one of the largest I've ever seen. So even though it's a little older model, this airplane was an A330-300 which is certainly not Turkish's kind of most premier business class product, but still the seat was super comfortable, lots and lots of room, especially for a big guy like me. And we were pretty impressed. The seat had lots of storage and, you know, plenty of places to put things. It was still a little bit awkward in some places, not quite as intuitive as some other business class products, but we very much had enough room to put all of our things. There's a footwell at the bottom where you can place your backpack. And that's what I did. It kind of gets it out of your way. So when you get ready to extend your bed down, it's, you know, very comfortable and, and nothing kind of encroaching on your space. The entertainment system on the A330 Turkish business class, it's, it's adequate. I mean, it's certainly not the best entertainment system I've ever seen, but it had a decent selection of movies and television shows and we enjoyed it when we weren't focusing on the food which is coming up and that's the very best part of it all then we enjoyed it and it was a it was it was a fine entertainment system the only thing that really was negative is because of the way the seats are designed that screen is really far from you so i mean it's just kind of a weird deal because even though it's a large screen it's quite a distance away these are our two amenity kits we got to pick from. They delivered it to us instead of having it on the seat when we walked in. I chose red and Carrie chose navy blue. Let's see what's inside. Okay. This is a little facial mist. 
little lip balm. Oh, nice. I appreciate this. It's a hair tie. It's the first time I've ever seen one of these in an amenity kit. It gives you a little instruction. Of course, body lotion. That's very helpful, too. This is a cool add-on. Trusty little toothbrush with a cover. It's nice. And then, of course, we have our glasses. It's nice and big. And then some nice warm socks. All in this very nice kind of leather bag. I like it. Now the best part of Turkish business class, and this is pretty much well known in the Points and Miles community, is the food. They have a chef on board. Ours was a, a nice young lady and she came by in her chef uniform with her chef cap on. We even took a photo with her and we just had a, a tremendous time with that. So the food, it comes out in multiple courses. It's absolutely exceptional. Um, we got a full menu with multiple choices. They even have a cart that they bring around per periodically with snacks. We enjoyed both a dinner and a breakfast. Let's go over the menu real quick. It's pretty extensive. Definitely comes in three different languages. And then up at the top, it gives you some options. When we first got on, we thought these were just gonna be options that we could pick from. But as we found out, it all came. So that was kind of exciting. And then these are the main breakfast options after this little thing of entrees. You can get an omelet or some pancakes and then definitely some different breads. Then before landing, it has some different things that you can get, mozzarella and tomatoes, Caesar salad, just for snack. Then it goes in for your dinner. You have the red snapper, grilled chicken breast, or rigatoni with parmesan. And then it'll also have some different desserts. So, so far, Turkish Airlines and the food is excellent. And I'll tell you, we've been on several other business class products and the food on Turkish, it really, even though others are quite good most of the time, and I know some who review all of the time can be you know, more critical of some than others. Pretty much for me, any business class is a pretty awesome experience. But when it comes to the food on Turkish, none of the others that we've been on at least compare. The service was outstanding on the A330 business class from Turkish Airlines. I mean, they were attentive. Anything you asked, if you ring the call bell, they're right there. They're walking through the cabin all the time. I never saw them like just chit-chatting. I mean, maybe a little bit, but not ignoring passengers and their needs. You really feel like you've got the premier experience. And they're always there to bring you something else to drink or to get you a snack or answer a question, make up your bed if you want that done. And so I, I would say that the, the service just can't be beat. Now, I have not been on some of the, what they say is the best of the best. We're hoping to get on Qatar's Q Suites in the future with their great service or Singapore, or Etihad, or, or Emirates. We haven't done those yet, although hopefully that's coming. But as far as the ones that we've flown, this service cannot be beat. Other service can be good as well, but this was just exceptional service from the crew. So overall, I think my wife would agree with this sentiment because she's kind of expressed it to me over and over since we got off the plane, and that is, Turkish business class is out of this world. And that's even considering that we were on their older product that's just a little outdated as far as, you know, the aesthetics of it all. But the service, the food, the overall experience, even though the seat is a little bit lacking, not in space, but perhaps in, in quality and the modern feel, but, and the entertainment system, it's certainly not the best in the sky but the food, the service make up the difference. So what am I gonna say about Turkish? I will fly them anytime, any day. It is an experience out of this world. Give it a try, I think you'll like it. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. 
And if you want to look at another video, I'm going to put one here at the end that talks about what it means to be in the points and miles game and where you might fit into that game. So go ahead and click here and we'll see you here next time.